Hey, what's happening? Paul Ingram here. Got my composite trainer, Gnunting, and uh, I made a quick modification to it. So I wanted to do this update video on the uh, review of this training Gnunting, part Dalawa. So I made a quick modification to this uh, training bolo. I'll also link in the description and then also at the end of this video to the part one of the review that I did on this training bolo. It's composite, it's made out of plastic, it's very durable, it's easy to modify. And uh, what I did is I cut it down to roughly around a 15 inch blade. So I don't have my, my other Ganunting on me, but I do have my Talibong on me, right, which is right here. So, you know, cutting it down, to uh, that proper length, about 15, 16 inch blade, really made a difference in the maneuverability of this trainer, uh, the balance of the trainer. Um, it just, it feels a lot more like a combat bolo right now. It was a little long at a 20 inch blade, so cutting it down just really makes it a lot more comfortable in the hand and uh, it makes it just a lot more easier to maneuver and it's closer to the real thing uh, when you're looking at like a top pedal blade that's used by the Philippine Force Recon Marines in combat today. So moving around with the bolo cut down feels so much better. Um, the balance is a lot better. The Now you can feel that it's going a lot more back into the handle, which is where it should be. So that way the blade becomes weightless on all of the maneuvering. Of course, you're not gonna get the same weight as you would that live blade that's you know forged out of steel. Um, but this is a great trainer so that way you can see where the cutting patterns are. You know, you understand that the balance should be pushed more back into the handle, not so far up on the tip, especially for a combat blade. That way you can have full control over all of the different manipulations that are possible with the fighting bowl. So now that I've cut it down, uh, I definitely like it a lot more. I'm probably going to purchase a second one so that way I have doble. Um, so if you want to grab one of these, I've got a link in the description below over at INI Sports where, uh, where you can go ahead and get one today. So in my last review, I uh, mentioned that it was a great buy. It's a great training bolo and uh, I have to still agree with that and uh, cutting it down, I think it's, uh, it's super good now. So you know, you're reducing your aluminum intake, you know, your aluminum absorption if that's something that's important to you. Um, you know, I wouldn't recommend going full, like, you know, full contact with this. I mean, we haven't done that yet. We will do a follow-up part three video where we're going to really go full contact and beat the hell out of these things and see what they can really handle. Uh, but as far as like a good trainer goes, so that way, you know, you can work your technical precision, you know, you can see where the lines are, see where the cutting patterns are and all that. Um, definitely, definitely worth it. So again, this is the Gnunting version of it, and they have other shapes and things like that, so you can check them out. I just uh, go ahead and put that link in the description below, and uh, go grab yourself a training bolo. It's gonna help accelerate your collie training, and then it's gonna help you to understand all these different movements a lot better. Hey, I got a question for you that you can answer me in the comments below. What style blade do you like best when it comes to the Philippines? Do you like the Gnunting style? Do you like the Talibong or the Pinuti style? Uh, do you like the Chris? Do you like the Compalon? Do you like the Barong? Right, all different styles of blades and all that from the Philippines. What's your favorite? And if you don't know, do a quick Google search on the different types of blades from the Philippines and and all that, and then uh, come back here and leave me that comment below. I'm always interested to hear what everybody else's style is. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Be sure to subscribe, hit like, and then uh, hang out with me over on the Instagram over at Collie Center, and then maybe I'll see you over at CollieCenter.com where we can further your collie training.